Decorated Ukrainian troops from the 11th Territorial Defense Battalion this week gathered at a cemetery in Kiev to pay tribute to their fallen comrades and former commander, Alexander Humenyuk, whom they called Batya, or father. In addition to Humenyuk, Yevgen Ermakov and Oleg Anyenka died in battle near the Baltsva in East Ukraine. They were the first losses for this unit, which did tours of duty in eastern Ukraine, between Slavyansk and Kramatorsk, and in Pisky near the embattled Donetsk International Airport. Humenyuk at the time doled out letters from children to his soldiers. He told journalists then that only patriots, volunteers and professional soldiers, could rescue the nation from the Russian invasion. Three young patriots, Humenyuk's sons, are following in their father's footsteps. Maxim, Oleg, and Svetoslav. They are young Cossacks wearing traditional smocks. Their father taught them how to be warriors. This is mom's bulletproof vest that she wore when visiting the front line. Here's a bazooka and a beret our father gave us. These kids worried about their father when he was in the combat zone. They gave him this doll to carry with him. Humenyuk forgot to take it with him on the day he was shot dead. Humenyuk's wife says her deceased husband remains with the family in spirit. We do not accept the fact that he is no longer with us. He remains alive for us. The rest of the troops and I called Humenyuk Batya, or father. It was something about him, everything, his voice, etc. He was a father figure for us all. He grabbed me once by the hair as we were going into battle, pulled my head down and said that if I got shot, he would finish the job off. That's the blessing he gave me before one battle. <laughs> Most of the volunteer soldiers who served under Humenyuk have since been demobilized. The battalion is currently stationed at a training ground, but the equipment is still in operating condition and adorned by yellow and blue flags. Those who fought with Humenyuk to defend their country say they are convinced he is still with them and Ukraine.